right, we have we 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 had a band called 809, which in the the late 80s to early 90s. That's the band in Jamaica. With the, it was just a wickedest band. So our headquarters where we rehearse and hang out was at Grove Road. And there was a bridge in there named Omar Harris who was a part of something called Blue Mountain Music. And so, you know, we are under the same roof and thing and it is a big hangout spot. I mean, Buju, everybody used to come there. So one day, Omar come to me and said, well, I have this little youth here. We are DJ and he must go to school. Some more you listen to him. So I said, bring him come. And I said, you're the artist. He said, yeah, man. I said, what's your name? He said, my name is Miguel Collins, but I call him Sisla. So I said, Sisla is your artist name. I said, yeah. So I said, yeah, DJ or something for me. And when I'm DJ the tune, we never hear nothing like that, ever. I'm DJ a tune about, so then something that about the rat race. And I'm going to say, DJ it again. Because I wonder if I make him just make up something. And him just do it again. And I say, Oma, you turn on normal, you know. And so I took him and he kind of was saying to me that he's ready for DJ, you know. And him, I got done on them time there. And I said to him, no, nah, man, you have done school, man. And he said, all right agree with me and I took him to the studio about a week after that. I gave him a track to listen to and I said you ready for the for record and he said yes. I came to the studio and Sizzler record the tune like he's been in the business for like 20 years and just record the tune from top to bottom. He didn't even stop he no make no mistake, him no in those record the tune. I record a tune say, killing is not a part of our policy. You kill your brother, you explain to Almighty. That tune that we do. And I say wait. But this is not a normal youth. So he and I had a real, real good relationship, cause you know. We used to go to Augustown regular, we hung out up there till late at night and you understand me and thing and at that time now when we record the first tune, we don't have the money for record the second tune, you know, cause the food wasn't flowing, you know. So we just carry him to Fatis. And you know, from Fatis to Bobby Digital and thing and the rest is history. This is like just the wickedest thing. <laughs> so I, I mean I knew he would be great but when him record White God me sure say him going to be great you understand me cuz him lyrical content at that age meant that he was ahead way ahead well let me hear you say mountain 